Hi. Howdy. How are you? Good. What are you painting? I is painting a war guard, war god, Spartan kind of dude. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah. What systems you with? A Reaper or? I work for Reaper, but I, well, I also work with this crew too. Gotcha. Cool. Cool. So what is this? What's going on here? Paint and tape. Uh huh. It's free. Oh, free is good. They free like free. is good, especially for us gamers that you know would cut that rich. Yep. Yet. <laughs> um, do you guys provide the paints for everybody too? Yes. It's fantastic. Paints, brushes, water, uh, plate for a palette, and paper towels. Cool. And the lovely Noel is one of the people that we have here that you can feel free to harass at any time with <laughs> questions and such. Excellent. This is currently my responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, if this without her, this wouldn't have been made possible. Cool. Cool. Okay, so just uh, tell us just briefly what is what's going on here. Uh, people are painting. Painting miniatures. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of donated items from the manufacturers and people can come and they can sign up and they can sit and they can paint for an hour or so and take their miniature home with them. That's why it's called paint and take. Is it now, is this a, is this a paid event or how does, how does no, it? Everything here is free. Everything is free. You sign up on the little list. We call off your name. If we've got a seat for you, you come sit and. What's the, uh, what's the real motivation for the miniature companies and the paint companies uh, to do this? Amazing advertising. <laughs> Honestly, it gets their names out there. It gets people to actually see and feel and handle their miniatures, see their quality. It means that they can, you know, for a very small amount of product, they can get a lot of exposure. What percentage of people would you say are newcomers to this as opposed to people who do this, you know, irregularly as part of the hobby? Honestly, I'm probably not a really good judge. Uh, this is my first year actually organizing everything. Usually I'm just kind of behind the scenes doing stuff. So um, I'm going to guess maybe 50 to 70 percent, honestly. A lot of it is people who don't have anything else that they have scheduled right now going, hmm, well, that sounds interesting. And then there's a handful of people who are attached to other people who are gaming who are bored out of their minds and go, oh, that looks like something I can do. And they get to keep the miniature and everything when they're done? Yeah, absolutely. Is, is it, popularity-wise, I mean, it, I, the tables here obviously look very full. Uh, I mean, is, is it constant all day long like this? It is constant all day long like this. Um, often on Friday and Saturday, we will have anywhere between a one and a, I think the worst I saw was a three hour wait. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Uh, on a really bad day, it was about three hours. But usually the average wait is about half an hour, and the it's really packed wait is about an hour and a half. Um, this one, I'm very detail-oriented. Uh, so right now I'm working on the folds of the cloth. I'm shading them uh, dark to light to bring out the folds on a little model. Now, do you game? I mean, are, you, are you a gamer, or is this just something you do for fun? Uh, this is just something I do for fun. I actually make polymer clay jewelry, which is very kind of similar. You're painting tiny little three-dimensional objects. So I do miniatures every once in a while for relaxation. But it's just the painting. Are you here for? Are you here for anything? For anything else, or is it just this that you're that you're here to do? I usually come to do the costuming um, thread, and then. The types of artistic things, like I'll be doing um, the uh, color theory and the polymer clay sculpturing, and I like to play D and D as well. What do you do? What do you do for work and stuff in real life? Uh, at the moment, I'm unemployed, but I'm uh, normally a business analyst, and uh, right now I'm working on starting up a small business with my jewelry and things that I make and paint.